Okay, so after we practice reading the number line with the two different hands, and we come to the conclusion that the longer hand is the minute hand because the dots are closer together and we need a longer hand to read the minutes. After students have practiced reading the time, we then come to the realization that this is in fact a clock and we circle it into the clock so that students can continue practicing reading the double number line just like we were doing when it was laid out flat only in a clock. So now, which, what does this hand, what does this read? Hours. The hours. And what does this one read? Minutes. Minutes. And how many minutes are on the clock altogether? 60. Very good. So if the minute hand is pointing here, what do you see? How many minutes is that? 60. 60. So we're starting a new hour, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. When we're starting a new hour, what do we usually say? If this was pointing at 9 and this was starting right at the top, what do we usually say? What time would that be? If it was starting at the 9 and it was already in an hour, it would be, it'd still be 9. Okay, 9 what? What do we say? It's 9 Nine o'clock. 9 o'clock, right? So this is at 60 and then it starts a new hour. So if it was 9 o'clock... Now what time would it be right now? 9.01. 9.01, very good. And then it would be? 9.02. 9.02. Now what would it be if I did this? 9.15. 9.15, very good. What if I did this? Nine thirty, very good. Nine thirty, and as the hour hand moves, nine thirty, it gets closer to what hour? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Is it ten o'clock right now? No. How about now? Is it ten o'clock right now? No. Okay. Is it ten o'clock right now? Okay, what's the hour hand pointing at? Is it at the 10? Yeah. Is it at the 10 yet? No. It's right before the 10, right? So we're still at the 9 o'clock hour. So let's read what that would be. If we were right here, it's what hour? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. What minute would it be? 